I'm keeping this one short and sweet for you today because I really want this to cut through. If you've started a business or multiple businesses and then you decide to go back to being employed by someone else, there is no failure in that. Not one, no failure. Can't see a failure anywhere. I've noticed three or four people pop up on my LinkedIn feed just this last couple of days who I met as business owners who are now happily employed. Some have kept their business, but in a smaller focus, call it a side hustle, but I'd argue it's all just a hustle. Some of them have stepped away from their business altogether. Some businesses they ran for six months and some for over a decade. There is nothing about this that's a failure. Our working careers are so long, no matter what we do, and everything we do leads us to a new version of ourselves that might at some stage need or want something different. That seems quite natural. You owe absolutely no explanation to anybody if you become interested in a role as an employee or if you simply need one for your financial security. In fact, actually, if I was hiring for a role, I'm certainly not hiring for roles or anything at the moment, but when I go back to stages where I was hiring for roles, now I would be hard pressed to look past anyone who's been a business owner, even if someone else was more qualified, quote unquote, because business owners are brave as fuck. And I know they will have so many skills that couldn't be captured in a resume or taught any other way than to back yourself into a business venture. It's a very unique experience. Just like businesses grow and change, get bigger, smaller, hashtag pivot, our needs do too. You have options. The whole portfolio career narrative has given it a name, which is great for shorthanding things, but it's really not new. Do your business in whatever way works best for you, whatever size or scale. You can move on from it entirely if you need to or change it. Take on an employee role full-time, part-time, contract, fractional. Like options are endless. You can go back to business again after that, like whatever. None of it makes you any less of an entrepreneur or any less brave. So if you're battling with a decision on if to go back. I can't find any other way to say it. Even that seems to minimize. Go back because you feel like you might be a failure or failing. Please stop that right now. (laughs) Do whatever calls you. Do whatever structure you want and need. Prioritize your growth and prioritize your wealth and just keep making decisions that are brave and scary. Just keep growing. If this short episode and this message I wanted to share with you, if it landed, if you're going through it, please message me on Instagram, Unemployed and Afraid, or find me on LinkedIn by searching my name, Kim Curtin. That's K-E-R-T-O-N, not curtains like the drapes, (laughs) because I want to hear about your experience. And I want to hear if just hearing some of this in this short form maybe helped you to back yourself into whatever it is that you need. 